Hey guys, uh, me Steve from Steve Magnet Fishing. Today I'm at Dulwich Park. Uh, the place I was meant to be going was uh, kind of like had an issue. Um, the guy who was trying to get contact to let people know I'm going to go down there, he's a bit older than so I can't go to that location today. So I'm going to try and do um, Dulwich Park for a little while. I mean, hope I don't get kicked off. There's a, a bit of a lake here. Uh, mostly like a boating lake, I think. Uh, I don't know if the boating lake is actually open for people to sail in the boat. Uh, I've got my magnet, and I'm going to give it a go. I mean, if I get kicked off, get kicked off if I don't, I'm good. I hope I can spend a few hours here today and see what I can find. So, uh, this is part of the lake here. Got the wetland here. I'm going to give it a go anyway, see what happens. If I get told to leave, I'll have to leave. <laughs> Hopefully, I can do boat and make without getting into any problems. Uh, I'm just going to see how it goes. No, I should ask permission on certain land. This might be classified property, but as long as I ain't harmed and causing problems, I think I should be okay. So, this is the one. I mean, it's a dodge picture gallery, it's meant to stay tuned. Crystal Palettes is three and a half miles away. So I'll get kicked out of here. I might take a trip over to Crystal Palace. Don't know yet. So let's see how it goes. Right, I'll stop this and I'll get back to you when I'm set up. Catch you soon. Well, guys, this looks like it could be a blowout because uh, you've got railings all the way around the lake. You've got a small like, river. I don't think it's going to be much in here, to be honest with you. So, um, I'm going to have to look for somewhere else to go. Bit of a bummer, actually. Um, kind of already lost. Don't even know what way the bus stop is. Um, when I get onto the main road, there was something I thought I saw, like a, a river just up the road. So, uh, no, it's kind of annoying actually. Mm. Who is that? Don't want to just ring my number. Look. One of those spam numbers. Um, I don't know where I am, I'm already lost. I might go back to where I just came. Because that does not lead to the main road. Not the way I came in anyway. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm lost already. Got to try to find the way back to that main road. Uh, once I find the main road, I can go out and walk down about half a mile across the road to the left. I 
I think there's a river, I'm not sure. But we'll try to find somewhere, don't worry guys. I'm definitely going to do some magnetic fishing somewhere. Alright, I'll catch you later on. Alright, so it's uh, 11.56. Uh, Ballage was a bit of a blowout as well because they had like rains in and I don't want to take a chance. Right, we're just passing, so I'll come over to Clapham Common again and the two clients I've found so far is a makeup um, mirror theme and this interesting piece of uh, fencing. So I'm going to spend a couple of hours here on this lake then I'll probably go over to the fishing lake for an hour and I'll uh, make tracks. I've actually uh, texted um, Ian that I'm here but he hasn't came over so maybe he's busy. Well, I've got to go that way anyway so I'll uh, hop in and see if he's around. scrap metal time at time. Mate, exciting. The weather doesn't know what to do. One minute it's like a little bit breezy, next minute it's sunny, and then breezy and sunny. I'd like to get another bag of like jewellery or something, but better than the one I got last time. Got me a little gravelly look, so I'll be going round the edges later. Do one quick scope around the edge, all around the side of the lake, so I find anything. Got something going on over there, what it is I don't know. Well, I'm thinking about buying a metal detector. So I'm do some metal detecting over here. Ian Bolton said I could, as long as I cover up the holes. Get their life out of you, Steve. I've been given permission to do. Um, Is that on? Yeah. Oh, turn it off. Shoot the life out. We've got a little compact in there, yeah? Yeah, a little compact. Right. Oh, it's it's nah. Is that a skate in? Skate in, yeah. I've been given permission to do a drop. I have one here.
for you to have to do that. I'll shove it over the gate and I'll ask you to let me know. No, no, you want to go, mate, so I'll take that these things. Yeah. 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 Full switches. But, um, Four pots in the tank. Yeah, yeah. It's a bottle of water. Yeah, it's a bottle of water. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, I've heard about that. How's what is it? Uh, Greenland box. Greenland box. Full two foot deep. That's all I want to do with that. <laughs> they won't fucking go there. It's only 30 metres. How long 30 metres? Anything to do in the bottom of the water. Yeah, I know. Dead body. Don't use knives.
Oh, okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to turn it off because uh, Jack doesn't like being on camera much. So, um, he asked me to turn it off. Gave me a nice little location I could probably try out. So, uh, I'll have a look on the uh, internet when I get home if I remember the place. Not getting much out. Compact and that um, piece of iron fence. If there's anything that's going to be in the middle, like boats and stuff, probably. I've had about seven feet in coins. Much out. Maybe it feels like it's dragging some stuff, but it's probably like tree branches and stuff. go to the fishing lake later. Do a couple of hours there before I go home. Got them branches. Just two items I found so far, compact and a piece of iron fence. Not a lot.
factories in here. I've actually cleared a lot of stuff out in this lake though, so um, if there is going to be anything, it's going to be further out. I bet there's a load of mobile phones in here, just that they're not magnetised. You know, they're all more recent ones. No, I haven't been here for about a week, so I didn't know someone could find St. Kilts in. Could be another little safe in there or money box or something, you never know. I know there's going to be more boats in here, toy boats. Probably trying to forget them.
in a cloud style. On the fucking rope again. So not a bad day, but you know the sun keeps going in time to time. It's supposed to rain this afternoon as well. I wonder if I'll get any keys again today. I like getting keys from here. Keys and padlocks I like to get. back in the water. A lot of bricks in here.
I did find a little pen knife, little pocket pen knife, but nothing special. An old nail. Well, I'll close the camera off if I get anything to you know, later. I ain't getting nothing yet. Hi guys. We're clocked. I'm just going to go up to where my bag is and I'm going to go over the other lake for an hour. Uh, I'm not pulling much out. Just a few keys. A few little bangles. Um, and those are a couple of bits that I cut pulled out earlier. That compact and that uh, iron fencing thing. Pulled a few of these bolts out. So they've gone in the bin. Day. I thought old Ian would have come over and said hello, but he hasn't. Maybe he's too busy. Got a few coins, um, f four keys I think it is, and two little bangles, which I'll do maybe a quick video at the end. So nearly three o'clock I think. Crack over here. Not getting a lot of stuff here though. I'll come down here next week and do that around that corner get the boat out again if I can. I think he even said about he's thinking about getting an anchor for boats, that'd be cool. So much black stuff in there. There's always something going on over here. Tennis court. Yeah. yeah, they use that tennis court, I think, sometimes. Uh, don't know any other ones. Oh, hang on, yeah. Um, yeah. 
right at the end of the park. I think there's one down there. Got a bike in, like even a bit of exercise. <laughs> Not many people stopped and asked what I'm doing today. Normally do, but never mind. Won't load. Might be left alone. Concentrate then. Another 2p So I found this little uh, badge thing And some keys I've got some more keys in the pocket bag thing Items, flashbacks. I'm going to do pack up in a little while, about five minutes. Go to the loo and go around the big fishing pond for an hour. I'll leave here about five. Two bad on coins today. Two P or not two P? Magnet fishing. Magnet fishing. Yeah. Find the magnet in and getting out. Old iron and steel. Oh. Just like, you know, helping to clean the lake out a little bit. So dogs keep going in and coming out cut. So sometimes I go in there with my waders and fill around for broken bottles and full bottles and you know, just like clear all the crap out. Oh, okay. I pull out great big steel poles and one of those like uh, news agents uh, stands and so this can pull up to 140k. Wow. I pulled out a kiddie's bike here last week. <laughs> yeah. But I've, I've had some interesting stuff. I've had uh, three little bags of costume jewellery that's been dumped in here. Uh, two was over there. They had credit cards in there as well. Um, and as I came around here, I was just about going to give up. So I was actually in the water and I kicked on something. And there's another bag and I opened it after it had a smashed iPad in there. It had an iPhone 4, iPhone 5 and an iPod. All drenched. There yeah. a bunch of coins in there as well. Now, I gave all the coins, uh, the cards to the police because they were coming through as I was like going for that bag. And I said, hey, oh, I found all these cards. Can you take them? He said, yeah. I said, what should I do with a costume jewelry, guys? Then it'll take it. So I took some of them. I found like safes, like broken safes. Yeah, you know, great big safe door in here. Oh well, yeah, I do this one quite a lot. A lot. I do. Sorry. I do this one quite a lot. Oh yeah, you always find stuff in there. Like coins. A lot of coins. Yeah, a lot of coins. I take. Uh, no, not old ones. Just the modern ones. The old ones didn't have iron in. Like the early 1900s, it's all like you know, copper and stuff like that, and tin. But yeah, I put it all in a bag and throw it in the bin. I was out there last week on the boat, which they lent me, and it was a pain because there weren't no anchor. And when I threw the magnet out, instead of me going to the you know, bring the magnet into me, the boat was going to the magnet. 
So, you know, a bit of a pain really, but... Because it is a little bit deep out there, it goes about six foot deep out there. Oh, okay. And I pulled out so many bottles, and those little, little gas cylinders. Oh, the little... Uh, yeah, oh, I, I've pulled out probably about three, four hundred of them now. There's so many there everywhere as well. Yeah, like, all on the... the well. Yeah, it's the kids, they snort them, don't they? Get high. Right. Right, cheers. <laughs> There's a couple up there. But I was wondering what I was doing. Just gonna get to my bag. Go up to here, then move on. Run civilians around, and a chat to him. Got a dog walk down to that corner with this. Bird crap everywhere. I can't do it.
nice to get another bag of costume cubicle actually. Or something with some mobiles in. But I don't think that's going to happen. Junk. I think I spoke to last week. I'm afraid he's going to go back in. I'm going to pull it down this way.
tanque só ficar aí, né? Deixa eu ver o tanque. Fiquei meio roqueado. See that out. I found a bag away. I don't think he's done anything in there. But we will check. Could just be a normal sandbag. But we'll check it anyway. I'm back.
bike. I'll stop now. Go to the loo, go to the toilet, and then go to the other lake for half an hour, hour. Off we go. See who's around the other pond. Right guys, I'm going to end it from there. I'll uh, probably do an hour around the other pond, like, and that'll be it. I'll do a little uh, tally up with the find, if I remember, at the end of the video. So cheers for watching, catch you later.